Ellis is your referee for this main event. Are you ready? Let's rock and roll. And let's get it on. Rodrigo Gracie and BJ Penn. BJ Penn is a scrapper. Uh, he walks around at 180 pounds, you know, 175, 180 pounds. Uh, what makes this fight interesting is that Rodrigo's cutting to 180 or 185. So he's a big boy, a lot naturally bigger than BJ. And the interesting part, BJ Penn tried to shoot, tried to take him down, could not. And that's going to be the interesting part. Remember, BJ Penn, this is the biggest fighter he's faced in his career, moving up to 185, basically. This will be a very technical fight and a very interesting fight. He's just trying to pummel in right here. Rodrigo's doing a good job of keeping him against the fence, using his head and his legs to prop him up against the side. He just now got double underhook to see if he can turn him, maybe do an inside trip. And Oh, there's a right hand that landed by uh, Penn, a short right. And Rodrigo, you know, the one thing I think it's interesting right now, he might just be trying to set him, set BJ up later in this fight because he's wearing on him, he's leaning on him. And by the time, if this does go three rounds, you know, that kind of weight can take its toll by the third round. Oh, definitely, definitely. And with BJ having experience at 155, he's actually a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt at 147 pounds. You know, excellent fighter at 155, proved his worth at 170. Um, a lot more weight that he's carrying around is, is um, you know, not only going to make him stronger, but also he's going to have to carry that and walk around with all that extra weight. Rodrigo Gracie following the game plan right now. Just trying to wear on BJ Penn, set him up in this first round for maybe later on in this fight, try to wear him down. He's a lighter opponent. He's moving up to 185. And this is where we've seen the fight in the first round, in the clinch. The interesting thing with that uh, BJ said during the press conference was uh, it doesn't matter on the weight classes because if he fights the guy in the street, which he does all the time, um, the guy, there's no weight classes on the street. And he said that um, he doesn't care to get knocked by a 300 pounder because he wouldn't remember anyway. Oh, right hands, wild right hands. Both fighters just missed landing. So we're back to the center of the cage. BJ Penn shows the quickness he has. Wow. Sneaks in a left hand there by BJ Penn. This is where he would like to keep it. Rodrigo, I don't think mines. Rodrigo's doing a good job at keeping away, throwing some punches as he comes in, as they get close, and then backing out, creating some space. Interesting first round. Starting the clinch. Now we're seeing some stand up. Rodrigo goes down, and he'd like to stay in the guard. Trying to kick BJ Penn. Penn being patient. Rodrigo trying to use his feet, would like to kick him in the head, but BJ pounces now. This is where it is. BJ gets side right here. He's going to go for the mount. This is where oh, flexibility right comes in. Good right hand by BJ Penn. The crowd erupts on that right hand. He's got excellent base. Very, very difficult to sweep him. But he's going to run out of time here. This is at the end of the round. Wow, interesting first round. Battle position. BJ Penn wishes he would have had that position earlier in the round. But nonetheless, exciting fight, exciting first round of this main event. Will be interesting right now. Matt Serra in the corner of Rodrigo Gracie. There's Sharuto Verissimo in the corner of BJ Penn. He's giving him instruction. Yeah, a bunch of great here. We've got Helson, we've got Hoyler Hoist, and Crosley Gracie supporting him. The lead looks like the lead corner of Rodrigo is Matt Serra. And here's the uh, replay of the first round. A lot of clinch work, a couple shots landed. You see Matt Serra there. Matt Serra spot BJ Penn. He lost a decision to BJ Penn. So if there's one guy that can help you prepare for BJ Penn, it's definitely Matt Serra. Definitely. He's been there. He feels, he knows how BJ feels. The stand up. Here's another replay right here. Hadrigo's doing a good job of keeping that forearm over the neck, trying to make some space here to recover the guard. There's that left hand. And the right scored right on the ear. I, I tell you what, folks, if you've never been hit in the ear, I mean, your ears will be ringing for a week. I mean, wasn't a big shot, but still a shot nonetheless as we start the second round of your main event, a sold out Blaisdell Arena. Comes to watch BJ Penn face Rodrigo Gracie, part of that legendary Gracie family. First round, very close. Probably give the edge to BJ Penn after the finish he had at the end of that first round. Definitely. Three five-minute rounds and a little dive shot there by uh, Rodrigo. Yeah, good shot, but BJ shows his experience, just backs away. What Rodrigo's doing with those bicycle kicks is he's trying to use his heel, hit BJ on the thighs to tighten up those thighs. It looks like he's not doing nothing or trying to kick him away, but every hit that hits on BJ's thighs is taking a toll. There's a kick by BJ Penn. Trying to work his way. Oh, there's a right hand that just, it might have grazed him. I don't know. 
you mentioned it. You see that left arm there, also in position. Now BJ starting to land some short shots. There's an elbow. Couple elbows. That'll get your attention after a while. Another one. BJ continues to land those elbows now. This is where we may look for some cuts that might open up based on those elbows. And that's the one thing, Mike, you, you mentioned it. That's one thing that can cut you up more than anything's elbows. Try to cut up your opponent and try to capitalize a little bit later. BJ right now in good position. Right now the Gracie team says, hey, is he hitting him with the point of the elbow? Larry Landis says no. Andrew got his, his arm and his forearm underneath his, uh, under BJ's chin on his neck to create some space. You know, I tell you what, BJ, you can see he has a lot of respect for Rodrigo. He doesn't want to overcommit, doesn't want to make a mistake. Being very composed, scoring some punches, scoring some shots, and moves on. Being patient, that's the key to keeping his position. You get to this level, it just takes one little mistake to end your night. And BJ Penn knows that. He's going against a much bigger fighter. Rodrigo Gracie undefeated. He can finish you at any time. He's doing a good job of getting that knee back in to create some space uh, to get his, his guard back going in. Now BJ, once again, he wants to load up on those right hands, but he doesn't want to give up the position either. Scoring some points with the judges as far as dominant position. And look at the face of Rodrigo Gracie. To fire back in the bottom, though. Rodrigo Gracie, you're starting to see him get cut up a little bit. The lacerations on the face. BJ Penn starting to get some shots, some clean shots. Oh, BJ leaps up! Wow! The end of the round, a la Sakuraba. <laughs> Wanted to pass the guard, look, look to try to get a foot stop in there. He looks back at his corner, Reagan gives him the nod of approval. Round to go. Three five minute rounds, that's 15 minutes of fighting, folks. And let's show you, the right hand just missed. I mean, BJ loaded up, just missed it. Used that punch, pulled it back out. Used that hand to pass. Hundrick guard right here. Hundrick's trying to keep his knee up and catches a good knee to the head right there by BJ. Rodrigo Gracie, maybe a little, a little surprised by some people being on his back this much in a fight. I, I, no doubt about it, he loves to work from the guard, but if you're scored at home, you probably gotta give both rounds to BJ Penn. We're not the official judges though. It's hard to say what they have scored. Larry Landis will bring them together for a third and final round. BJ Penn and Rodrigo Gracie doing battle here in the 185 pound weight class. Gracie undefeated, BJ Penn only one loss in his professional career. Right hand just missed. Nice overhand that drops him. Uppercut stunned him and Rodrigo says, oh you just stunned me. He gave him a one finger salute that didn't win over any fans. There's oh. a right hand that stuns BJ Penn right after his back BJ right here. His back. Now he's gonna go to the mouth. Good job, Andrew, going to scramble out and recover his half guard right here. Man, we've seen that right hand before. <laughs> Ask Matt Hughes about that right hand. That, that was very reminiscent of the right hand landed on Matt Hughes. Ask Gomi and Matt Hughes about that yeah. scramble to the back as well. Uh, that's textbook jiu-jitsu training to get out of that as well. Good job, Andrew, to, to recover his half guard. Big that right hand landed by BJ Penn, the biggest punch scored of this fight. Penn continues to work. This is a good job of scrambling and getting position back, but so far, BJ is the dominant ground fighter here. You know, right now, he's in a tough position because the clock's working against him. We're about 2.30 and counting. BJ Penn continues to land right to left. And if you're Rodrigo Gracie, you know, in football, we call it the Hail Mary. You gotta basically land the Hail Mary submission right now. Go Definitely. for maybe a triangle choker armbar. You gotta go for broke. Yeah, he's gonna have to take a chance here and uh, you know, he may get caught, but he may also have an opportunity yet to switch the fight and steal this round. BJ Penn, huge, with some hammer blows. Rodrigo Grace, he gotta do something here. You know, I almost think he's, he's, he needs to stand up and maybe try to land a KO blow because BJ's got, BJ's got time on his side. I mean, we're talking two minutes and counting. Looking good right now against Rodrigo Gracie. Nice pass right here, keeping pressure down on the knee. He's gonna try to do a weave again with his legs. Rodrigo does a good job of scrambling back here. BJ Penn showing you the power in those hands. There's a left that connected. Wow, split open a cut on Rodrigo Gracie. Rodrigo's gotta do something. Because right now, BJ Penn is controlling this fight. Rodrigo's up, corner selling him the fight. One minute left. 
fight, fight, fight. In Portuguese. BJ Penn and Rodrigo Gracie, the main event. And right now, BJ Penn showing you why he is pound for pound the best fighter in the world today. Under 30 seconds now. He wants to continue to stay tight right here. See if he can pass. Rodrigo's trying to keep his space with those knees up. I mean, right now, he's yeah, telling him to hit him. He said, come on, hit me. Let's go. Stand up. Let's go. Calling him up. Standing him up. He said, I can't to fight. Here he comes. Oh, BJ leaps over and just starts kicking him. That is the fight right there. That's the end of the fight. Wipes his bra off. Throws the sweat off. And BJ Penn looks impressive tonight. Moving up. Showed his groundwork. Um, scrambled well as well to, to kind of keep BJ off of uh, such a dominating ground game. Show you the uh, fight here. You see the right hand. Oh, there's a little forearm mixed in there, wasn't it? And he adjusted his punch midway through because Rodrigo's kind of moving at that time. Got his back right here, tried to get that second hook in. I mean, how, Mike, how good is that? That in mid-swing, you can change a punch to a forearm. I mean, that, that is incredible. Yeah, That's like Tiger Woods. <laughs> Swinging back his club and then changing it in mid-swing. Because he feels we just a gust saw of that wind. in mid-punch. Look at that. Hoist Gracie and BJ Penn together. That's a great sight right there.